the PGA Live rivalry has gone on for so long that many gold legends are starting to get sick of it. Even though PGA probably has a lot of reasons to be pissed at Live and vice versa, could there ever be a change of the two tours coexisting? A certain golfing legend seems to think so. Let's take a look at that and some other news. First up, what did the golf legend say about PGA and Live? Lee Trevino needs very little introduction to anyone familiar with the sport. The 82-year-old was once considered one of the greatest golfers alive. He's one of only four men to have won the PGA Championship, US Open, and the Open Championship twice in his career. However, the Super Mex is not a fan of the state of the sport right now. In a recent interview, Trevino talked about how the golf world is going through some very tough times. While revenue may be at an all-time high, the tensions in the golf world are even greater. Trevino reminded everyone of the event that broke away from the PGA of America in 1969. That breakaway event was called the PGA Tour. The people fighting live right now. Eventually, the PGA of America and the PGA Tour learn to live with one another. All the controversies stopped and both organizations became integral to golf as we know it today. Trevino believes that something similar will happen this time. Live will continue to exist as long as the Saudis keep pumping money into it. And considering the depth of that oil money, that can continue for a long time. As for the PGA Tour, it's simply too prestigious to just stop existing. There will eventually come a time when both sides will settle their differences and acknowledge each other. They don't necessarily have to work with each other, but they can still try not to actively destroy one another. Up next, who's more at fault? PGA or Live? While PGA may be much more popular than Live, many players chose to join the Rebel League out of their free will. It was sort of the market at play. Live offered a much higher salary and a lighter schedule than PGA did. It was only natural for players to take the better deal. They earned more money by playing less golf. What's not to love? But at the same time, PGA had a lot of grievances with that. For starters, it's clear that Live tried to straight up steal many PGA's top players. They offered the player salaries that were impossible to buy anyone with a brain. It was a clear strategy of trying to buy out the competition. PGA was no saint either. It used its leverage to ban Live players from competing in some of the top golf events in the world. It also directly targeted Live's image. And even though the Saudi-backed league had done the same, it never took a direct hit. Overall, both sides have a lot of blame for how things are in the world of golf right now. Live doesn't have a problem with its players competing alongside PGA players, but their main competitor does. Coming up, Trevino isn't a fan of Live. Despite his opinion that Live and PGA can coexist, the golf legend doesn't enjoy the new Rebel Golf League. The 82-year-old said that Live didn't air on TV was a serious setback for the league. He said he doesn't know how to open up YouTube to watch a live game. He doesn't even have a smartphone. This might not sound like a big problem, but considering golf as one of the oldest viewership demographics of any sport, it is one of the biggest things holding Live back. But even if you take their online presence into account, there seemingly is none. Live has a very low viewership across all platforms. It doesn't even hold a candle to some PGA numbers, even with some of the top-ranked players in the world. Live continues to struggle in terms of popularity. The only reason it's even mentioned so much in the news is its feud with the PGA, but it's still only in its early stages. Who knows? Maybe Live can successfully market itself as an alternative golf league that's more appealing to younger audiences. It would be great for the entire sport if that were possible, but it would be very difficult to pull off. Next, Trevino says he came along too early in golf. During the same interview, he talked about the potential for coexistence in golf. The legend mentioned how he was amazed at some of the salaries certain golfers earn. Of course, we all know Tiger Woods and his billionaire status, but with Live, we have multiple players earning hundreds of millions of dollars. Trevino mentioned how Pat Perez, one of his best friends in sports, made a staggering $8 million this year. Even if it may not seem like much compared to the top salaries, that amount is still significantly higher than what players were paid under Trevino. He is also not upset about it. He praised men like Perez and Harold Varner, who both came from low beginnings and worked hard for most of their lives before finally receiving that sizable live check. He doesn't blame them because they're nearing the conclusion of their careers and don't require the PGA status. Trevino mentioned that he probably came along too early in golf and missed a lot of potential earnings. He said that even at the peak of his career, he couldn't imagine retiring early because he simply didn't have enough money to do that. However, with a net worth of $50 million, it doesn't seem like the legend has to worry about much anymore. But that sum could have been a lot bigger if he started playing more recently. Up next, Rory McIlroy expects the PGA Live feud to continue for a long time. While Lee Trevino might think that the two rivals can eventually coexist with one another, PGA's top player, Rory McIlroy, seems to think otherwise. The Northern Irish golfer has been one of the biggest critics of the Saudi-backed league since its inception, and he doesn't plan on backing down anytime soon. The top golfer was heard saying he hates what lived into the entire sport a few months back. He also said that he couldn't imagine playing with some of the players that betrayed the PGA Tour to join Liv. He was sickened by them. McElroy seems to think that the feud between the two tours has reached the point of no return. He described it as out of control. He pointed out how there's a huge us versus them mentality between PGA players and Liv players, and that's continuously getting 
getting worse. He said that if the two leagues keep doubling down on the damage they do to one another, the sport's fractures will probably never be healed. From what it looks like right now, neither party is willing to back down from their positions. McElroy isn't a fan of this. He said that it simply isn't good for the sport for everyone to be divided like this. Coming up, what else did McElroy say about the Live Tour? Despite many of his comrades lightening up their tune about the Rebel Tour, Rory McElroy is still ardent in his opposition to it. He said he had never felt as much betrayal as he did when some of his closest friends joined Live. When he said this, he specifically referred to Henrik Stenson, one of the newest additions to the Saudi Tour. McElroy mentioned how he built a very close friendship with Stenson because of the Ryder Cup, and for him to throw it all away for a bigger paycheck was mind-boggling. Stenson was stripped of his Team Europe captaincy in the Ryder Cup after he decided to defect. He was one of the most important players on the team, and it's not like he was short on money either. McElroy said that certain players like Stenson don't seem to value the Ryder Cup as much as he does. After all, it's one of the biggest events of the year when it comes to golf. Whenever kids and adults start getting into the sport, they all dream of playing in the Ryder Cup one day. Stenson has been playing golf since he was a little kid. McElroy knows that he had the same dream at one point or another. The Northern Irishman said that when players know the consequences of joining the Live Tour, including never playing in the Ryder Cup again, it should be enough for them to not join it. Unfortunately for him, that's not the case. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think PGA and Live could coexist? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one!